right, everybody, this is Shake and Bake from www.shakespub.net. Uh, this is Homebrew. It is on Steam now. It is, I think, on sale for $15. It's a great game, especially if you love to build vehicles. Uh, this is a, uh, a vehicle sandbox building game. And the reason I'm making this video, it's kind of a two-part video. Kind of, I'm going to kind of give some tips and tricks on how to build uh, in the warehouse when you're building stuff. Um, but I'm also going to do it using my uh, jet vehicle as an example because I do have people asking for this, uh, the file to this, which I am going to actually create um, a place on Dropbox to share uh, vehicles I build if people want to use them. Not that they're that great, but if people ask for them, I'll provide it to them. And uh, I'm sure others can do that as well. Uh, but we're going to use this as an example. If you want to, I think it is probably the most challenging to build a good flying vehicle in homebrew, uh, but it is rewarding when you can do it. And it really is a lot of trial and error, and you have to really uh, learn um, how to adjust and fine tune the vehicle and go out and test it. So, this right here is my jet right here. And one thing I'm going to point out right away you see that G right there. That G is the center of gravity. And as you can see, it's critical that you have these wings over that center of gravity. And even, um, I think, having the, the, the thrusters, the engine, whatever's propelling your craft in relation to that center of gravity. So you can see in, uh, on the jet here that I have really the engines the, and the wings really centered over or close to the center of gravity. And um, the other thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to kind of build a jet. And it might not be perfect, but you're going to get the idea of how to build, maybe, and also how to link this stuff together and things to consider when you're building a flying vehicle. And again, let me say this. I am not an expert at building in this game. I'll share what I know. If you know more or I get something wrong, post it in the comments below and let's just help other people out. Uh, so here we go. So uh, you're in the warehouse. You've got different modes right the first mode to the right here is the tuning area and that's what we're in now that's where you hook everything up together so once you've built your vehicle uh in order for it to work you've got to hook things up and what i mean by hooking things up is if you've got a jet engine like right here then you've got to fuel the jet engine and so here's my tanks as you can see these lines are going off they're fueling these engines okay so you have to fuel your engines you have to get battery power to electronic parts that's where you do this now this right here is the vehicle building area this is where you're going to spend most of your time this is where you actually build the vehicle okay so we're going to do that here in a minute uh, there is a custom uh, frame builder area where you can build custom frames and then save them. And there also is this uh, pipe builder area where you can come in here, and I'll just do it real quick here. Let's do, uh, hold on a second, I'm screwing this all up. All right, let's do this again. Where you can come in here and you can basically build custom curved pipes you know, as much, whatever your imagination can come up with. So let's go back to the, I always forget the names of it, the vehicle builder area. Okay, so this, like I said, you spend most of your time here. Now, what I'm going to do for the sake of this tutorial using the jet as example is I'm actually, um, I'm going to point out some things on this build. And these are things I've learned the hard way that may help you. Now, I used to use quite a bit of these pipes you see these pipes right here on vehicles i do still more on a car but you gotta remember all the more pipes you have the more it affects your weight so what i try to do now is try to i try to use parts as the building base for the vehicle because i, I need those parts anyways and it reduces the weight of the vehicle and i i tend to use a lot of these large fuel tanks to build the initial structure of the vehicle uh, obviously that's going to fuel your engines let you fly it drive it longer and it reduces the weight because you're not using uh, the metal pipes uh, to build the structure okay um, it is critical when you're building a vehicle obviously to make sure it's balanced and so as you're building uh, i'm going to show you in a minute it's important that as you build on one side don't get too far ahead that you're not able to build it exactly the same on the other side. Uh, that is really important. And then I'm going to show you something else 
uh, when it comes to linking the things together. That could be a fatal flaw in your build. Um, the other thing is the gyro disc, this piece right here. Let me uh, see if I can pop it off here. Now, there'll be some builders who won't use the gyro disc um, and will just keep... And you can tweak a vehicle where you don't need it. Um, I would say when you're starting out, I would encourage you to use this gyro disc. This is going to smooth out the flight of your vehicle, make it a little less rough around the edges, and uh, I'll, I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to use that gyro disc. So let's go ahead and go into... We're not going to... We'll go ahead and just start... I wonder if I can... Nah, I won't take this one apart. I'll build it from scratch. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's leave here. And what we'll do is we'll bring up... I've started one which I have called Getting Started. If you, and what's easy, no matter where you're at in the world, just come in here, hit I, and do a fast edit, and it'll take you to the warehouse, and you don't have to fly or drive there, and you can start working on your thing. So here we are, blank canvas, and in we go right away, vehicle builder. Now, now here's the thing. Uh, uh, I'm going to start off with a big mistake you can make. Whatever you do when you start off, don't start off with a, this is just my advice, don't start off with a part, especially the chair. I'm going to show you why. So you got this chair, right? And let me show you, just to help you understand how to do this, if I hold left mouse and click on a part of the vehicle, I can move it around, okay? The exception is the, the contact points down here. If I click that, I can't, well, I guess you can still move it around. I thought you couldn't do that, but you can't. Um, but let's let's say I take this and I select a plane, I click the left mouse, and I stick it up there. I'm like, okay, great. That's going to be my start. And then let's say, uh, let's crank out a bunch of these uh, large fuel tanks, and I start adding them to the build. And I go for the next two hours. I build this great machine. I think, you know what? I don't like where the seat is. i got to move it. And trust me, you're going to have to adjust things throughout the build as you test them out. So what happens is you come in here and you see the chair, and you think, well, maybe I'll rotate it. Uh, now, watch, watch what happens. See, everything's connected to the chair, so you're going to rotate your whole vehicle. And let's say you're going to move it. So what happens is you highlight it and then push your middle mouse button in. Now, watch what happens. Now you have a heart attack because your whole vehicle just collapsed. So the the... the the moral of the story here is you want to avoid linking too much of everything to one point. Because if you go to adjust that point or take it off, it is going to basically break the chain to the rest of the build. So critical, critical. Let's just get rid of all that. Okay, on the left here, you've got pipes, frames, parts. Pipes, all the building stuff, frames, and parts that you can use in the vehicle. Uh, you have uh, this spawn object and then you have this uh bake where you bake what you've built so far and a cleanup where you just get rid of everything okay so let's get started all right so what i normally do to start off is i start off with pipes and i usually use the number nine we're going to build a jet and what i do is i think about how low this is to the ground because remember i got to get wheels down there so don't make this too low to the ground because then your wheels will be down into the floor and makes it a little more difficult so I crank out a few of these line nines. I come in here. Now, as I build, this is my general rule of thumb. I add one to one side. I add one to the other. I just keep doing that because I want to make sure it is perfectly balanced as much as possible. And uh, it's really easy if you start building on one side to, to kind of screw up on the other side. And it ends up out of whack. All right. So let's just... Uh... And the way you do is you just click an end a face, and it just connects. You just push your left mouse button and it connects. Now, there's another way you can do this. Um, you can click the face of something like that, then bring it to another face. You see how it turns green? I click that, and it snaps it on. Let's add one more on this end. I'm going to click that end. Click it on. Now, the blue rings is how you rotate things in, uh, in the building mode. Uh, you can rotate... 90 degrees, and you can rotate um, 90 degrees. And I'll show you that in a minute with a part so it's easier to see. Okay, so I have this perfectly spaced out uh, 
line here of, of metal bars. And what I'm going to do now is, because I know I'm building a jet, right? Now, you can use the small tanks, but I would encourage you as fast as you can to unlock these big tanks. I mean, bang for your buck. I think they help you build a better structure. They fuel your vehicle longer. I like using these. And uh, what I'll do now is uh, I'm going to put these on top of these bars here. I'm going to start with this uh, right here, this first one here. And, and basically what I'm doing, I'm making sure that it's all in alignment, that it's perfectly even, okay? Now, the higher I build, though, the higher the center of gravity. So, you know, as much weight you can get down towards the bottom is going to give you a lower center of gravity, which is more important, I think, in vehicles. So I'm going to put one there. I'm not going to go too crazy on this jet. Uh, now, let's see how I did this one, how it's it out of whack, right? You see how it's not even? That's an easy fix is just to come in now and rotate it, and now it's in alignment. So I'm looking. It looks very even. I like that. I think, um, yeah, let's just, we'll add another one here. We'll do on both ends here. Okay. And I start out this basic, um, you know, what I try to do is build the vehicle that kind of somewhat works. Then I'll make a duplicate of the vehicle. Then I will get into adding a bunch of other stuff because adding weight to certain parts of the vehicle is going to throw it out of whack. Okay, so we got that. Uh, looks good. Looks bouncing. The one way I check, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and bake it now. Then I'm going to come over to the tuning area. And what I'm looking for is that G. I want to make sure things look centered and weighted right. And it does. I'm going to bake that. I'm going to go back now to the building area. And now I'm going to think about, okay, engines and wings. And what I normally do is, uh, again, just to get things balanced, I'm going to keep things kind of somewhat in the middle here. And I'm going to go find some wings. And I tell you what, let's go with uh, those MIG wings. And you can use any of the wings that are there. But they all have a, they all kind of handle differently. They have different lift ratios, I believe. So you're just going to have to factor that in. Now, what I like to do for wings before I hook those on is I like to get some pipes going. And one way you can do this is... Um, is get you some line nine pipes because you're going to need to have wheels under your wings. You don't have to, but I like to have wheels. It makes it look a little more realistic because you're going to land. And I'm going to pick this middle point here, and I'm just going to click off. And, and this at this point, I'm just kind of somewhat guessing about things until you get it up in flight. You won't totally know um, what changes you need to make. Now, this this basically here is going to be for my wheels. I'm going to bring these out here. See, I'm starting to get the shape of a plane here. And before I hook those wings on, I want to be able to move those wings up and down the plane of this right here. So what I'll do is I'm just going to go ahead and get me uh, like a line... Let's do line three. I'm going to put this dead center, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple of these line threes. And I'm just thinking ahead. I want to be able to um, move my wings around and adjust them. Because when I do the test flights, I'm going to find they're either too far back, too far forward, not high enough, not low enough. And this is going to give me the freedom to move them around. Okay. So we got that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pick a spot on there. I'm going to pick my wing here. Let's just, you know what we'll do? We'll just pick this. Go to the front right there. Now you see how it's all wonky? Just come to the blue ring. Click it. And there, wing is in place, right? And if you want, you can you can even push these wings out a little bit by just adding more bars. Again, now well, this is critical. I put it on that side. I want to make sure I find the right exact face as the other one. Click it in there. I'm going to look for the blue ring. I'm going to turn it. Now, let's say you want to put an angle on this, the 90-degree angle. Okay, let's show you how to do that real quick. 
all you got to do, you find the blue ring, you, if you hold the control key down and click it, I just got a 90 degree angle in that direction. Now I'm going to turn it back. I hit control shift and it's back the other direction. Simple as that. Shift 9 degrees and control shift uh, to go the other direction 9 degrees. All right, so you see the plane is starting to come together here. Wings are looking good. Now, obviously, I need my engine. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the chair in. Uh, because the chair, I've noticed, does have an impact on center of gravity. And so I'm going to get the chair in. And let's just, i tell you what, we're going to put the chair right at the front here. Okay, got my chair in, got my wings in. I'm going to bake it. Now I'm going to go look at the center graphic. How's this thing playing out? Uh, not too bad. I, I, you see the G's up front of here. So, um, but I'm not going to mess with the wings yet because I want to get these engines on. The engines are going to move that center of gravity. So let's get the engines on next. Let's get our jet engines. I'm going to go with the large jet engine. Let's find that sucker. Jet engine. All right. So I got my large jet engines here. And I'm going to want to try to get those in right under the middle of those wings there. Um, and I want them actually a little, I want them like actually up in the wing closer. I don't want them so far hanging down. So I'm going to, I'm going to take off this last piece here just by pushing my mouse, middle mouse button in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get them up to get them closer up to, well, actually, let's, let's, let me try this actually. Let's try this out here. I'm going to find, I want the wing of the engine back a little bit. So I'm going to go with that last piece right there and drop it right there. Now you see it's all wonky. Just don't panic. Just turn that ring right there, and boom. Now, that's way too high. That's not going to work. Okay, I don't like it up there. I want it below the wing. Let's get it off there. Let's actually connect it to that middle piece, and we'll see how it works out. Hold on. Sometimes these things can roll around on you, and it does become a little bit of a pain. <laughs> Come on! Let's get the other one. <laughs> Screw that. All right. All right, let's see how this works out. We're going to drop it underneath here. And see, I don't like... I, I want it closer to the swing, so I'm going to drop this off here. And an easy way to do that is just like this. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to get me a pipe. I'm going to get me a curved pipe. I'm going to say a curve three. And again, you're going to have to learn, you know, after building a while, you, you really quickly learn, um, you know, what's what and, and, you know, how big the curves are. It's just a lot of trial and error. So come in here. I'm going to put that up there. And you see how this moved it up now. I like that. Now, before I add that engine, I'm going to add another one of these because to the other side, because sometimes it's so easy to forget and then before you know it, you got an out of whack plane. It's not balanced. And definitely you're gonna want this balanced. Okay, I'm gonna click that middle part right there. Actually, I'm gonna move the engine back a little bit. So I'm gonna actually go about right here. That's too far back. Let's go right here. Okay, let me see how, how that looks. I actually want that a little farther back. So I'm gonna click it and drop that engine. And let's see if we can stop this thing from going crazy. Ah, stop. Boom. All right. And I'm going to click on the end there. And just like that, engine's on. There we go. So I like that position a little better. Maybe even go back a little more, but not going to know till I actually look at the center of gravity and see what that looks like. And I'm, I'm going to do a final check. I'm really going to look up on top here and look down. I want to see if things look even. And what if I don't know, right? So what I can do is I can come in here. I can cl click this face here, right, and drag it over. And I can see it's at 12 over, the distance. And I just want to make sure that's the same over here. And it is. So 
Good way to verify distances are correct. I'm going to bake it. And now I'm going to go in to the tuning area. And I am really liking now where that center of gravity is. It's getting right in this area where the engines and the wings are the most weight is. That is what I want. I'm going to bake it. I'm going to take a quick picture of it by clicking this icon. And let's go in back to building. Got our chair. We got our gas. Got wings. Now let's get the tail on. And uh, to you know, I could even get that center of gravity back a little further. Um, and I could add a jet engine to the back. But let's see if this is going to work. Let's get... Now, I do use the gyro disc. You don't have to. I would if I would encourage you... Or the, what are they calling it now? Gyroscope. I would encourage you, if you're, if you're frustrated and you can't get it to fly, to use this thing. And the, uh, the reason is, again, you'll see... It really helps to smooth out the flight of the vehicle and take the rough edges out. So, and you can control how much it does that by how much battery power you give it. And I'll show you that in here in a little bit. So I've got that on. Don't forget that if you're uh, if you're going to use that, I would encourage you to. Nothing wrong with using the gyroscope. Now we're going to do the tail. So we're going to find the tail part for the MIG. There's a wing tail. I'm going to spawn two of the tail wings. Um, this is, I want a little, yeah, we'll go, we'll go with that distance. I think that's good. And again, you're gonna have to maybe adjust this a little bit, but that's looking pretty good. I do want this to be in alignment with the wings. So I am going to raise this up a little bit. How I'm going to do that is with a pipe and I can see the distance here. I can look over and see, I don't know, it's probably about a five. So I'm going to get a line. Let's go with a line four, actually. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, does that look good? That's close enough, yeah. So we got that. I'm going to put on the vertical piece. That's not the vertical piece. Yeah, it is. All right. I'm going to put the vertical piece on. It didn't connect. That's okay. Let's just do it just like this. Let's see how far back do I want that. Let's do it right there. Okay, so now I got my tail on there. And again, I may have to play with that, move it farther back, forward. I don't quite know yet. And now I'm going to hook on these pieces. Let's see how they play out. And it can be tricky finding the right blue wing. Um, and see, now I don't know which one I use to click on. Or it's easy to forget that. So you may have to come over and look. And I think it's the farthest one back, this one. And then I'll double check that because I definitely want these to be accurate here and lined up. And they look like they are. Okay. Got the wings on the tail. They got the vertical uh, engines in place. And again, I'm going to do what I did before. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I cook, bake often, and I come check the center of gravity often. And I, I'm liking where that's at. I love that position of the center of gravity. That should work out great. I'm going to bake it. Come back. Now, okay, so you got fuel, engine, center of gravity looks good. I got my gyroscope, are they calling it now? Uh, I got a chair. Okay, but I need batteries to power this. Now, this is important. Now, you can use the 12-volt battery for that. It's it's not going to... It's going to have less of an influence on the how smooth the flight is. The more battery juice... Uh, the more impact on how smooth the flight is. But you could use too much juice, and what's going to end up happening is you won't be able to really steer it. It won't, it will be, it won't be responsive. You won't get much vertical lift and left and right as well. So what I'm going to do just for this video is um, put some of these batteries on here. I'm going to start off with uh, two, and... I'm going to just, if, if it's not enough for my liking, I'm going to add more batteries or take away batteries. So that's good. we got the two batteries on there. Uh, now we're going to do the wheels. Now this is how I do wheels. Okay, I'm going to want, obviously, two wheels on the wings and one on the front. What I normally use is a Curve 5. I like the Curve 5 for wheels. And I'll come in here. I'll do that. And then I'll check this by going to Parts. I go back to a wheel hub. I'm going to crank out three wheels. I'm going to click the end of that wheel face. 
I'm going to put it right here. And what I'm look, what I want to achieve is this wheel to be pretty much centered under the plane. As you can see, it's a little bit off, which is okay, because I have some options here. One is I can click the side of that face, and voila, dead center right there. You just have to play with it. So I like using the U5 for wheels. I think it works really well. And uh, you can see there's connection points under this side as well, under the engines. And I'm going to put those right under that center of gravity where the engines are. Right in the center here. And I'm going to get my wheel hubs. And one more. Boom. Now I got my three wheels on there. They're looking pretty good. They're looking pretty even. I like that. Um, so we got batteries, fuel, engine power, wheels. And I think we, for a basic plane, might be set. Let me go back, check the center. Gravity looks really good. I'm going to bake that. Okay. I don't think I forgot a part, but I could have. But let's, let's, I'll know here in a minute. Okay, so now this is where it can get complicated if you're new to the game. How in the hell do you get this plane to work? And we're going to start off first with wheels. You see that wheel? It's pointing in the wrong direction. If I click that, you're going to get all of these options in here. Let's say you don't really know what all this stuff is. If you click the blue question mark up here, it's going to give you some tutorials, some help on that part. But the key to this is you've got to know things have got to be linked to something. So this wheel, first of all, I'm going to click left wheel so it points forward. I'm going to point, click it can steer. I want the front wheel to be able to steer. There's a bunch of fine-tuning stuff you could do in here. Uh, you just have to learn how to use that stuff. Input controller. I hit link, and I link it to the seat. It's got to, to me to steer that wheel, i got to be linked to my seat. And I click off somewhere here on the screen, and then this is linked to my seat. Just easy as that. Now, now gas tanks, right? Or items that are similar. If I click one and I double click it, it'll highlight all of those gas tanks. Consumers, I click link. It's going to be these jet engines. I'm going to hold shift down. They're linked now. I'm going to click off here somewhere on the screen. And now I know these jet engines are linked to these gas tanks. Okay. All right. Now let's do the jet engines. There's a little circle right here. I'm going to click that. I'm going to double click. So they're both connected. Uh, it saves me time. You could do them one at a time. I'm going to link them to the control seat. That's how I'm going to control those engines. Activate one. Okay, so now this is important. All of these different options on controlling something in your vehicle um, all are in relation to your key binds. So you're going to pick which one in here, and then later you're going to look at your key binds to see how which key is going to activate this item. Now, I'm going to leave it on activate one because I know that's my X key, and that's what I've been using since I've been playing this game. You can change uh, key binds to increase throttle, decre decrease throttle, afterburners, and you could even show the RPM of the engine. If you hit link, you're going to link that to the seat, and it's going to show up on the HUD. Okay, that's all I need for the engines. And now I'm going to go to the gyro, what do they call it, gyro disc. I'm going to link it to my seat. That's how I activate it. It's activate one. I'm not going to leave it on activate one because I don't know how it's going to how it's going to respond. So I'm actually going to change it to activate two, which is my N key, and I can turn that off and on in flight. Then, if I left it at activate one, it would it would turn on automatically when I start the engines. Okay. Now I'm going to click the seat. I'm going to edit my screen here. You can move those around. I'm going to do that again in a minute. I'm going to click look around so I can have free look while I'm with my mouse when I'm flying. Um, show speed. I'm going to have that. I'm going to link it. And I'm going to show altitude because I'm flying. I'm going to link it. I'm going to go back into the edit screen. Just click and drag these around so we're not sitting on top of each other. Bake it. You can, you can actually go in and change the sizes by clicking this horizontal arrow up here and then just doing this. You can just hold it and make it bigger, smaller. Okay. Okay. So got that. Now comes uh, the flaps. Okay. So we got the, uh, actually let's go back to the wheels. These wheels um, are too small, I think. Click road normal up here, and then you can pick what wheel you want. I'm going to go with, uh, uh, let's go with a road 
Obviously, the bigger the wheel, the more impact it's going to have weight of the vehicle. I'm going to go with road big. I like that one for a plane like a jet like this. Okay, road big. And this one's going the wrong direction. Just hit left field. Don't panic. I'm going to bake it. And everything's still looking good. Center of gravity looks spot on. Now, last thing to do is the wings. I'm going to click this flap. I can mess with the angle that it will go to when it is operated. I could even adjust the offset angle of this so it's permanently up or down a little ways. And I also could invert it. I'm not going to do that on this on the front wings. I will on the back wings. Input controller and then flap input axis horizontal. Same on the other one. Link axis horizontal. Um, now this left one here I'm going to invert. I'm going to link. Flap input is going to be axis vertical again i could change how steep the angle of this is and the offset angle and i've done this before on the offset angle but i don't feel like i'm getting enough lift in flight i'll adjust that a little bit so it's always giving me a little lift link and after after a while when you do this quite a bit you you get the concept everything is linked to the control seat pretty much and this is going to be axis horizontal. Now, you did this right. I'm going to bake again. And you're wondering, well, hell, is that, did I, did I get it right? Um, actually, let me do the batteries. Double click the batteries. I'm going to link those to the gyroscope. Done. Okay. I think I got everything. But you can miss something. So I'm, I'm going to click the seat. I'm going to hit control, right? And I'm, and I, and I'm going to hit X. I just turned my engines on, and when I come in here, um, if I wanted to, I could lock the uh, camera here. And now I can start, okay, I'm pushing up, that's good. So I know this is to go up, that's to go down. Left, right, left, right. Flaps are working together, left, right, good. Front wheel's turning, I like that. Um, let me unlock the camera. Go back here. I want to see if the uh, jet engines are. Yep, I hear them. Whoo! That's it, my friends. Okay, I'm going to bake it. I'm going to take a nice. Uh, let me unlock my camera. I'm going to take a picture. And let's head out and try it out for this made in Floyd. Floyd? The hell's a Floyd? Okay, for sake of time, I just added the wheel back here to help push it up. You can still, it's a little wonky. I can't steer. I would fix all that, but you get the idea. You're just going to have to mess with it to get that to work. But we're going to get it started. So I hit X. I know that's activate one. It starts my engines, right? I did not activate my gyroscope yet. Uh, and we'll do the first flight without it, and let's just see what happens. I'm going to look back to make sure I know. Okay, I know that's up. All right. I'm liking that. Let's uh, let's try it. Let's see what happens. It, it, everyone's like, a, you're a test pilot. Uh, you have no clue what is going to happen. It, oh, and see, I'm really wonky right now uh, because the balance is not totally 100%. So you see, I got this uh, wonky little bit of flight. Now, you can fix that by fine-tuning where the wheels are and all of that, where the wings are. I mean, but it's, I mean, for, it's flying though. I mean, it's not, V changes your view. You can see it's not perfect, but I got it up, uh, which when I first played this game, just to get up and fly it somewhat was very hard. Now I want to show you something. I'm going to hit my N key. Now look what just happened. Look at that, guys. That N key, uh, or that gyroscope. Look at that speeding up my engine speed about to break the sounds barrier here any minute should be uh, maybe I'm not going to I just went underwater because I wasn't paying attention <laughs> uh, but look at that we got a jet guys just like that I, you saw I basically built that in the video um, I encourage you to use that gyroscope um, at first until you get better at building and have fun with it. I really hope uh, I'm going to bring her in here. 
for a landing. I really hope this video has helped you guys. It can be tough at first, just stick with it. Once you get the concepts, uh, it's a lot of fun and you'll really be building some great stuff. And again, it's a lot of trial and error on your first and second and third flights. All right. Just like that, guys. A little bit of overshoot there. That's okay. So, again, hope this guy's helped. Uh, this is Shake and Bake from www.shakespub.net. Cheers, peace. Thanks for the subs and likes, guys. And I'll see you in the gaming world.